Hey guys, it's Rebecca Oberstadt here. I wanted to show you um, a few options when it comes to the belly rings. This is one I've already made. This is a, I'm sure everybody knows what the symbol is, but um, this is a man running with a, a hatchet. Um, but as you see, there is a double link. That's my dad's cell phone. Um, I use a, what they call a spring ring or split ring to make these basically indestructible. If you break this, it's going to break right at the base of the belly ring. And then you can just wear this as a regular belly ring without the dangle. And the dangle piece will still be connected to this as well as the loop from the belly ring. Now, I usually, if I buy them pre-made, I um, make sure that they're 100% nickel free because I'm allergic to nickel. So I can usually tell by touching something if I don't start to itch and swell within a few seconds, I'm usually good. But these are the little chintzy rings that you get with the regular standard belly rings. Now these are uh, buck heads and again everybody should know what the symbol is. These are titanium. Now. Granted, the ring is titanium, but the problem is, is this. These are made out of pewter and they have enamel paint on them so they can be very soft. So if you do this, you've just lost your belly ring. So again, you just have this piece. So I take these little cheapy single rings and I take them off and then I come in with a a split ring. Make sure you guys can see it. And I grab one of my tools and my 14 gauge safety pin. These actually work good because I can close them when I'm done and pop them in my drawer and it's easy to easy to do. I have to open the split ring which is what the safety pin is for. I then take the top of the belly ring gem facing up, put it on now, one thing about this buckhead charm is it has, it's not on my keyboard. Let's see if I can grab it so you can see it. Okay. It has, really? It has a smooth side and then it has a dimpled side. I'm not quite sure if it'll pick up there. You can see it a little bit there. And what it does is that's like a, a texture thing that they're doing on the back. And it's just probably how it came out of the mold. So if you want these made in sterling silver, we can make them in sterling silver. But usually I take the smooth side since a lot of people don't want the texture facing out. And I put the smooth side facing the gemstone. And this is basically what it looks like. The safety pin is still in, so it keeps. Let's see if I can do this so you can see it. Keeps the ring open. And then basically, once it's on, I take the pin out. And then I slide it through on the ring until it pops. Oops, there you go. There is your brand new belly ring. Now, granted, you're not going to have the color that you would with the titanium one this is actually yellow just like the rest of the belly ring and I can reuse these in chain mail and the next thing I do is I make sure like this is um, if I can't get it open I grab a pair of flat nose no teeth pliers make sure I've got a firm grip on it and slightly turn until it just barely breaks loose because the reason for that is is when they coat it over the titanium to keep it from fading they um, they leave the thing completely sealed and so the belly rings are already made when they when they put the last coating on to protect it that's why it's like super shiny instead of a matte finish so there is a completed belly ring now I had this shield with an S again everybody should know what this symbol is but from one of my other titanium belly rings, I thought, okay, well, instead of putting, where we go, a standard surgical steel belly ring with one gem, or, you know, I can replace the balls and put two gems, and I do sell the balls separately for a dollar each, so if you ever want a double gem and yours didn't come with it, just specify that, and I'll add another 
you know, it's just an extra dollar. And that will be on another, you know, just look for, um, it'll be five millimeter round gem replacement balls, 14 gauge. Again, this one is really tight, so I'm going to go ahead and break that loose. And I do check every one of these before I sell them to anybody. So we're going to take this charm. And again, I'm going to grab my split ring. And I'm going to pop it open. I usually put it on a flat surface instead of trying to do it in the air because then that way you don't stab yourself. There's nothing worse than stabbing yourself with 14 gauge safety pin because trust me, it hurts. I've done it many, many, many times. But doing this also leaves impressions on your fingers. I don't know if you can see the, the dent in my finger, but doing this does have its drawbacks. I made 25 belly rings in one day, and I tell you what, my fingers sure did pay for it. And my safety pin fell out, so I had to put it back in. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I got the charm on, and then I slide it so that it's flat again, gem facing the side that I want it. And since this is a, just a silver side, and then it's got the rhinestone side on the other side take your pen out and then again you slide until it clicks I don't know if you heard the click my dad's still on the phone with work so and then there is a brand new titanium top with a surgical uh, actually no that's a pewter bottom with uh, red rhinestones the standard one of these looks like this so this is a specialty one the titanium tops I usually do um, instead of seven dollars. If I'm just selling the top alone, I do ten on them. So this would be a fifteen dollar belly ring, and this one's twelve. That way you can see the difference. Most of my belly rings are twelve dollars, unless you get let me move some trays here. And yes, I'm a Birchbox subscriber, and I do reuse the boxes because I absolutely love how many things fit in them. Now, they could be separated, but they co-mingled. <clears throat> so here is like one that's Halloween color, or come to find out, one of the local high schools here, actually, their colors are orange and black. So if you go to Umatilla High School, these are your colors, people. These are Swarovski 4mm round bicones. This would sell for 15 This longer one, because it is longer, and this one has just red and green, and then at the bottom it's gray and green. And again, they're all Swarovski crystals. Um, the one next to it, this one here, is 18 so you've got 15 and $18. And then the last one, which is the most expensive because it has three different ones, is this one here, which is the red, white, and blue. And these have sterling silver features. This is 25. This one also has the corrugated 3 millimeter round beads. Now let me show you something special about these. These are on sterling silver wires. So they do this. So if you're wearing high rise jeans or jeans that are even low rise but you have a belt on and then this gets stuck in the bottom and it does this, don't freak out because you can actually just straighten it back out. I wear the dingles quite a bit and you know they're great with bathing suits because if they get caught in your bikini strings don't you know untie your bathing suit and tie it again because these will actually you can just pull them right out and then if they're bent just straighten them back out. This one here is 15 and it again has little sterling silver flowers on the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go, that's better. But I use the sterling silver head pins on these on purpose so that they would be flexible because with the crystals you want to make sure that these have flexibility so that they don't break because the Swarovski crystals can crack and they can break and then you'll be calling me for a replacement piece. Now if I was to remake this piece it would be, you know, it would be less than $15 of course but each one of these costs anywhere 
it costs me anywhere between seven and fifteen cents per Swarovski, depending on whether or not it has an Aurora Borealis coating on it. And there are two types of Aurora Borealis. You have AB1 and AB2. AB2 means that they've coated it more than once and that it's got a stronger uh, coating on it, so it'll take a lot longer to wear off. These little clear ones are AB1. So they will actually change color in the light. And I've got several of them that are like that. But I've got a wide variety of colors that you can find on my website. So if you are looking for something specific and you don't see it, please let me know. I can make whatever that you want. I have a boatload of charms. These are actually these are the drawers that I use, and then I've got, you know, little, this is a little Lampwork glass bead. I've got things like little keys. I've also got locks as well, so if you're looking to do, like, one belly ring that's a key and one belly ring that's a lock for, like, your best friend, then um, I've got those as well. I've got, like, motorcycle charms with the heart and the wings. This is a Honda symbol. Or kind of like the Honda symbol because the Honda uses the wings on their motorcycles. I actually have a belly ring made with one of these with the Swarovski crystals behind it. And this one here is it's 12. The majority of mine are 12. Unless you get something like this with the Lamport glass. I can get the sucker to turn around. He would be 15 because of the glass charm. And then I also have hand painted charms as well. Grab a couple of those. These are double-sided. The other side isn't quite finished yet. So if you're looking to have me finish one for you, I can do that. This is the metallic version. Let me see if I can find it. And I've got a camo one as well. And then if you don't want color, I've got just the plain pewter. Again, it's double-sided. It doesn't matter which way it goes on the belly ring, and if it turns around on you, it's not going to be a big deal. Oops. So, I've got a plenty, plenty of charms. If you want to build your own or have me build, build one for you, let me know. I do not sell my belly rings anymore that are like this. I used to sell them for seven or ten, but. I had problems with that where people didn't know how to put them together, then they'd come back and they'd want me to do it. And for me to, to put a belly ring together, say you bought one of these and you have a charm and you want to put it together, that costs, you know, I'm going to charge you $5 for that. But if you want to buy one of these on the spot and have me do it, this is 7 I won't charge you the $5, it's just the flat 7 plus tax and all you have to do is bring the charm so I can make one for you. And I've got a wide variety of colors of the gems as well, so um, you'll see them throughout the belly rings when I put them up. And I do have a few of the titanium ones left. I'm trying to get more, but they're really difficult to get my hands on. So, again, I am Rebecca Oberstadt. I, uh, I'm going to sit here and work on belly rings. If you want something special, just let me know and I can get it made for you. It's no problem. Alright, you guys have a great day. Bye.